to parts number five of the Mega Man X3 Kirby Challenge. We're at Tunnel Rhino stage again, so you know what that means. Brace your ears, turn off your speakers, here comes the worst music on the Super Nintendo. I can't stand this song. If I have to listen to this song one more time, I am going to go crazy. I, does anyone else hate this song as much as I do? Does anyone else think that this song just sounds like the worst thing ever? Ugh. Anyways, in the last video we got the acid burst, and I said it was a pretty versatile weapon, and it turns out it is. Remember with the frost shield where I said that it always drops health? Well, the Acid Burst is kind of like that, except it always drops ammo, and that makes the weapon fantastic! This thing will basically never run out of ammo. Whenever you kill enemies, there's a pretty good chance it's going to drop some ammo, and that is fantastic for the weapon. And the weapon itself, it isn't too bad. One thing you kind of want to do with it, although it's kind of hard, you want to have the weapon not hit the enemies directly. You kind of want it to hit off a wall and then it will split up into multiple parts. And then all of those, I think they have the same power as a giant blob of it. I'm not quite sure if that's correct, but it's very beneficial to try to split it up and to get multiple parts of it to hit an enemy. It's a pretty good weapon. It's, it's not terrible. It's definitely better than most of the other weapons in the game. If it didn't drop ammo all the time, I would consider it just an average weapon, but since it does, it really doesn't run out of ammo, and that makes it a whole lot better in my book. But, but seriously guys, I can't stand this song. How are you still listening to this? How are you still listening to this video? This music is terrible. It's horrible. How are you still here? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I have to bring it up. The music is just that bad. Anyways, if you remember so long ago, this was the part I said was impossible. But the thing I was doing wrong, I was just shooting the giant globs at the mini balls. But that's the, that's not the right way to do it. If you shoot the shots at the ceiling and split them up, uh, it can kill the mini boss. And I don't understand why, but it can. And that's awesome. It's great. This is what made the challenge possible. And I did not figure this out on my own. I'm not going to take credit for it. All of the credit for this strategy goes to Cheese 8 Productions, who told me how to do this, and I thank him. I'm very grateful, because despite this challenge being really frustrating, it was also a lot of fun. The Mega Man Kirby challenges are some of my favorite challenges to do. They're super fun, and I would love to do some more in the future, and I hope I can. But really, thank you Cheese 8 Productions. If you're watching this, um, make sure to let me know in the comments below and once again thank you very much oh my god the music stopped silence oh this is beautiful oh man did it have to come back on I don't think I mentioned this before but um, there was actually a version of Mega Man X3 that came out on the PlayStation and I also think the PC and that version had some animated cutscenes as well as remixed music. Now most of the remixed music is far superior to um, the Super Nintendo version, except the intro stage. The intro stage does not sound very good in the PlayStation version, but sounds great in the Super Nintendo version. I don't know, that's just something I thought I might point out. Uh, here I'm grinding for more weapon energy. Now you really can't do this with any other weapon in Mega Man, but since uh, enemies almost always drop ammo, it's either they drop ammo or nothing, you can use it to grind energy and get more. And that allows you to refill on uh, on ammo, which is, that's, that's nice. It's, it made the stage a whole lot easier because you can get through it on just one, um, just one uh, bar of ammo, but you have to do a lot of dashing, a lot of tricky jumps, so I just decided I'm just going to grind for some ammo halfway through the stage, make it a whole lot easier on myself. And the stage itself, it's not too bad. Some of the enemies require multiple shots, but most of their attacks are pretty easy to dodge, so don't worry about it. You should be 
You should be able to take him with no problem. And since the acid burst almost always drops ammo, you're going to go into Tunnel Rhino's fight with either full ammo or pretty close to full ammo. Basically what I'm trying to say here is, you can just spam as many shots as you want at Tunnel Rhino. You will have plenty. You don't need to be careful about where your shots are going and all that. Now Tunnel Rhino is actually pretty tricky to take on without dashing. The problem is that you can barely make it over him. It's a close call, and if you are like, if you're only a pixel off your jump, you will hit him. One one really helpful thing is that with the acid burst, when he's charging at you, if you hit him with it, he'll stop. And that will allow you to get to the wall because you really don't have that much time to run away from him and get to the next wall. But with the acid burst, that increases the time you get tremendously, which makes the fight a whole lot easier. Trying to beat this guy with just the Mega Buster and not dashing is a difficult task. I will say that, but it is possible, so... If you're up for the challenge, try that. It's a pretty interesting fight. Anyways, by defeating Tunnel Rhino, we get the Tornado Fang, which is pretty much the best weapon in the game. It just tears through enemies, both big and small. It's really one of the only weapons that's worth using. But I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to save that for the next part. Instead, I'm going to talk about Bit and Bite, because I kind of skimmed over this topic when we faced Bit. Now, Bit and Bite were the main reason why some of the later stages in the challenge were so hard. It was difficult to get them to appear when I wanted them to. Now, with Bit, he is weak to the Frost Shield and Triad Thunder. Now, we obviously couldn't take out Bit in Toxic Seahorse's stage because we just did not have enough ammo. So, our other option would be to take him out with Triad Thunder in Crush Crawfish's stage. However, that doesn't work due to the way in which Bit appears. Now, Bit can first show up in your third stage, but he doesn't have to. And he also doesn't have to show up in your fourth stage either. If he doesn't show up in stage three or four, he will be guaranteed to show up in stage five. However, we don't have Triad Thunder by the time we get to stage 5, so we have no choice but to take him out in just a random stage beforehand. There was really no option there. Now with Bite, he is weak to the Tornado Fang and the Ray Splash. Now, Bite will appear... He can first appear in stage 6, I believe. And if he doesn't appear in stage 6, he can appear in stage 7. And if he doesn't appear there, he will be guaranteed to appear in the final stage, stage number 8. And, um, we can't take him out in the 5th stage because uh, that's when we use Tornado Fang, so that's not an option. So we have no choice but to take him out in the final stage with Race Splash. But the thing is, I had to go through stage 6 and 7 hoping that he didn't show up and trust me he showed up a whole lot and whenever he showed up i just had to restart the attempt because i just he should he showed up so much and it was infuriating because it was luck it wasn't something i did wrong i didn't make a mistake it was luck the game decided that uh it was just gonna make me fail and i didn't think it was fair it was really frustrating but eventually i got lucky Anyways, I will see you in parts number six.